This is the Bee Tree of Parramatta. I first came across it a few weeks ago while walking in the area. Then quite by coincidence, I had an auntie from Scotland come and visit, who was a certified expert bee master. She was very excited to hear about the tree, and the next day we came to have a look at it. I had already found an entrance at the base of a tree from my first visit. But we were then surprised to find a second entrance about two metres up. Then, on the other side of a tree, we found a third one, about six metres up. We decided to come back the next day, this time bringing my brother's brother-in-law, Terry, who has a knack for capturing beautiful photographs of insects. Standing near the tree, we could actually smell the honey coming from somewhere inside its bough. My auntie then talked to us about bee behaviour, the death of drones, bees dancing to communicate, management of the colony, how they swarm for a new home, as well as storing honey for winter. When she described how worker bees would carry honey with them to build a honeycomb in a new location, Terry's eyes lit up and he described it cleverly as a transference of energy. The only thing I could add, which was something I'd heard, was that most of our scientific discoveries had been made by observing nature. And my auntie immediately pointed out that this was in fact true, that there was also actually a bee algorithm that had been based on the behavior and flight paths of the bees. The three of us went home, a bright afternoon sunlight filtering through the trees, the sound of cockatoos in the distance. That night, as I was going to sleep, I could still smell the honey, and whether that was real or imagined, I don't really know. But I do know that this bee tree of Parramatta was something very special. <laughs>